The British Ministry of Defense developed a concept vehicle based on the Scorpion in the 1970s. It was a larger version of the FV-103 Spartan with an additional road wheel on each side. It also got a new engine, transmission and suspension. This effectively doubled the Spartan's carrying capacity and provided a much more versatile platform for future development. It was designed to be a general-purpose armored personnel carrier or combat vehicle platform. The prototypes, which were armed with a 7.62mm machine gun over the commander's position, were subjected to extensive testing and trials. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks, from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced MBTs at present. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And we begin. In the 1970s, Alvis Vehicles purchased the design and marketing rights to this new vehicle from the Ministry of Defense and christened it the Stormer. Alvis announced in 1981 that they would be developing this vehicle. Soon after this announcement, Malaysia ordered 25 Stormer armored personnel carriers. It was also acquired by Oman as a command vehicle to support their chieftain tanks. The Stormer debuted in 1987 as the FV-4333. Stormer, like most modern AFVs, can be manufactured in a variety of configurations for various battlefield roles. BAE markets it as being available in a variety of configurations, including a two-person turret armed with a 25mm cannon, air defense with guns or missiles, an engineer vehicle, a recovery vehicle, an ambulance, a mine layer, an 81mm or 120mm mortar carrier, a command and control vehicle, a bridge layer, and a logistics vehicle. Optional equipment includes a nuclear biological chemical protection system, an amphibious kit, passive night vision equipment, and an air conditioning system. Specific types of Stormer HVM, Flatbed Stormer, Stormer 30, and Stormer Air Defense. The British Army has acquired modified Stormers to serve as a mobile platform for short Starstreak high-velocity missiles. In 1997, the first of 151 Stormer HVM systems ordered went into service. The Starstreak launchers and target sensors are located in the rear of this variant, which has a three-man crew. Reload missiles are stored within the hull. A similar arrangement has been proposed for the Shorts Starburst Air Defense Missile System. The Starstreak missiles are powered by a two-stage solid propellant rocket motor and can travel at speeds exceeding three times the speed of sound Mach 3.5. Each missile contains three high-density darts with impact fuses and explosive warheads to hit the target multiple times. As the second stage of the motor burns out, the darts are released. Missiles have a range of 1.5 to 5.5 kilometers and can counter even the most powerful low-flying aircraft. According to recent Thales brochures, the missile has a range of more than 7 kilometers. These missiles have a service ceiling of 1,000 meters. The Starstreak is equipped with a semi-automatic line-of-sight laser beam riding guidance system. The operator guides the missiles to the target, which is tracked using the optically stabilized sight. The Stormer HVM is the only version widely used by the British Army. To transport various military supplies, a flatbed version of the Stormer was developed. Stormer High Mobility Load Carrier was its official name, HMLC. The flatbed Stormer was outfitted with a French Guiat Minotaur mine dispensing system and transported to the Gulf in 1990-91. Six of these mine-laying vehicles were built. However, this mine-laying vehicle was never put to the test. The French Guiat Minotaur mine dispensing system was tested against the U.S. M163 Volcano Scatterable Mine Laying System by the British Army. The British Army eventually chose the U.S. system. The British Ministry of Defense ordered 29 flatbed stormers outfitted with the U.S. M163 Volcano Mine Laying System in 1995. The Shielder was the name given to this mine laying vehicle. In 1999, the first vehicles were delivered to the British Army. There are numerous other roles proposed for the basic Stormer, including an infantry fighting vehicle with a cannon-armed turret on the roof. Several test installations have been carried out. Another trial vehicle was outfitted with sensors and communications equipment to serve as a forward artillery observation vehicle. A specialized armored recovery vehicle was also available. After some preparation, the Stormer armored personnel carrier becomes amphibious. It is propelled by its tracks on the water. Except for the flatbed cargo carrier and the recovery vehicle, the rest of the Stormer armored vehicle family is amphibious. According to some sources, over 220 Stormer series armored vehicles were built in various configurations. On the other hand, Stormer 30 is a tracked vehicle variant of the Stormer family that was developed using proven technology from the Scorpion range of light tanks for operation on any terrain and in any environment. Three crew members operate the vehicle, a driver, a commander loader, and a gunner. 
The vehicles have been tested and demonstrated in the UK and the Middle East. The Stormer 30 performs a variety of military and peacekeeping missions, including reconnaissance, fire support, escort duties, armor in advance and withdrawal, and internal security support. Oto Malara supplied the fully stabilized Hit Fist turret, which has a 30mm cannon and a twin tow missile system that allows it to fire while moving. The vehicle is capable of tank killing, and the cannon can defeat light armored vehicles with the highest levels of protection. Stormer 30 can be lifted by a CH-53 helicopter and transported by a C-130 transport plane. It can be transported by a commercial truck, rail flatbed rolling stock, or amphibious landing ship. The Stormer 30 tracked vehicle is a new variant of the Stormer tracked vehicle family. The Stormer 30's primary armament is an ATK ammunition system, Bushmaster 2 30mm automatic cannon. The cannon and turret can rotate 360 degrees, and the elevation ranges from minus 45 degrees to plus 60 degrees. The cannon's rate of fire ranges from a single shot to 200 rounds per minute. The cannon has a double selection ammunition feed system and 180 rounds of ready-to-fire ammunition. Stormer 30 is armed with two 7.62mm general purpose machine guns with a 400-meter range. 700 rounds of ready-to-fire ammunition are stored in the machine gun, which is mounted coaxially with the main armament. Two multi-barrel grenade launchers mounted on the turret's front provide 180 degrees coverage for the forward arc. The launchers, which run on a 24-volt power supply, are each armed with four smoke grenades. The tow missile launcher can be installed on either side of the turret of the Stormer 30. The missile launcher's traverse is the turret's continuous 360-degree traverse, with an elevation range of minus 7.5 degrees to plus 30 degrees. Raytheon Missile Systems Company manufactures the tow missile, which is licensed to MBDA in the UK. The missile has been designed with a high-explosive 6-inch diameter-shaped charge as well as a tandem-shaped warhead for improved hull penetration. The launch tubes carry two missiles, and the vehicle carries two spare missiles. The Stormer 30 has an armored aluminum hull with spaced high-hardness steel armor and a spall liner that protects it from 14.5mm heavy machine guns, mines, and artillery shell splinters. The sighting and vision systems are configured to meet the mission requirements of the customer country. The commander's station has an optional panoramic sight, and each of the six episcopes has a switch for gun and episcope alignment. The gunner station has both a day and night sight. The Stormer 30 engine is a 5.88 liter six cylinder Cummins 6B275 that produces 187 kilowatts at 2600 RPM. The automatic transmission system is the T303 cross drive transmission system. On a level tarmac road, the vehicle has a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour in both forward and reverse. The vehicle accelerates from 0 to 50 km per hour in 20 seconds and from 50 km per hour to 65 in 20 seconds. The fording depth is 1 meter. For stopping and restarting, the maximum gradient is 60%. The Stormer 30 comes with torsion bar suspension and six dual rubber tire wheels. The drive sprocket is located in the front and the idler is located in the back. Lever-controlled rotary dampers are installed at the first, second and sixth road wheel stations. To reduce dust, two track return rollers and the upper side of the track are shrouded by a light steel cover. The Stormer 30 has no variants, but it can be fitted with a variety of other turrets. The Stormer Armored Personnel Carrier can be used for more specialized roles such as Command Post Vehicle, Load Carrier, Troop Carrier, and Ambulance. Stormer 30 can be lifted by a fully laden Sikorsky CH-53 helicopter or an unladen CH-47 Chinook and will fit into a Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules transport aircraft. It can also be transported by commercial truck, rail flat car, or amphibious landing craft. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comments space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.